the Lakers in 2022 with a win, beating the Hawks 130 to 121. The Lakers were down at halftime 62 to 67. No Lonnie Walker, the fourth in this game. A great result for the Lakers, especially on the King's birthday. LeBron James turning 38 today, and he's moving like he's 18. 10 rebounds, 9 assists, 47 points, 18 in the first half. He put in a lot of hard work to get the birthday result he wanted. Uh, LeBron James is a phenomenal athlete to watch at such an age. He's an absolute machine to see the ferocity uh, that he has and intensity when he goes for the one-hand jam. His vision with the passing, his teamwork, his leadership, and just to see, especially in this game, LeBron James, the acceleration at times. He's just moving like an absolute youngster at 38. Thomas Bryant had a nice game, 17 rebounds, 1 assist, 19 points, a strong double-double from Bryant. Russ had 8 rebounds, 11 assists, 14 points. I really like Russell Westbrook linking up with Wenyan Gabriel in this game. Speaking of Wenyan Gabriel, he had 5 rebounds and 11 points, and Schroeder had 2 rebounds, 9 assists, 12 points. For the Hawks, Trey Young, 3 rebounds, 8 assists, 29 points. He had 17 in the first half. DeJounte Murray had a nice game, 7 rebounds, 9 assists, 20 points. And Onyeka Okongwu had 8 rebounds and 17 points. 16 turnovers for the Lakers, so they were a bit sloppy at times and coughed it up uh, a couple times when they should have been a bit cleaner. 10 turnovers for the Hawks. They looked sluggish, the Lakers, early on, especially in that first quarter. They lacked the effort. They lacked the intensity. And there was absolutely no defense uh, throughout most of the game. But then in the third quarter and that second half as a whole, the Lakers started fighting back. And although they got uh, a couple stops here and there, still a bit easy for the Hawks to score. But the Lakers went well because there was that team effort and the intensity just went to another level. The hustle from players like Russell Westbrook, Bryant, LeBron offensively, it was great to see. And there was those contributions, not only from LeBron, Bryant stepped up, Russ stepped up. You look at uh, the stats and you have LeBron, Bryant, Russ, Gabriel and Schroeder all in double digits. And also having uh, a contribution assisting and, and rebounding. So that was great to see. They needed to pick up their defence. They've needed to pick up their defence throughout the whole season, the Lakers. But what I really liked was that uh, effort and that hustle, 23 fast break points. That is fantastic to see. 74 points in the paint, uh, the Hawks had 56, and the assisting 34 for the Lakers, 22 for the Hawks. Austin Reeves, a really poor night from him. Three rebounds, one assist, five points. He was one out of 13 from the field, one out of nine from downtown. So he needs to get back onto shooting form. Juan Toscano Anderson had some great moments. And that was um, a great contribution off the bench as well for the Lakers. Lakers, good win because at the start, I was doubting the Lakers. I was thinking, gee, this could be ugly for them. But they turned it around in that second half and I absolutely loved it. LeBron James, you're a superstar. And when he's putting on performances like that, you just got to sit back and enjoy the show. Wishing you all a very happy and safe new year. Lakers, here's to a bigger and better 2023. Lakers next game, the Hornets on Tuesday. Go Lakers! All right, guys, if you like that recap and you want to see more of my content, remember to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, and hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Much appreciated. For more content, follow me on my Facebook page and also my Instagram page.